There was a great article on Alternet that describes why atheists shouldn't really celebrate at the trend in the United States that's away from religion. Now, at face value, that sounds inconceivable. Like, of course we should celebrate that. But the case that he makes is that we're actually not even making that transition away from religion and people aren't becoming more secular. So it's a bold claim, but let, let me break it down a, a little bit here. And by the way, I'm just as guilty as anybody else of celebrating this because I thought it was happening. And it is maybe still to a certain degree, but just not as much as we thought. So let me explain. He says that uh, the, or Alternet says that the American people um, have replaced one superstitious metaphysical belief with another. It's not like they've just gotten rid of it. And the example that they cite is that 63% of young Americans age 18 to 29 years old believe in demons. 63% of young Americans 18 to 29 years old believe in demons, 63%. Okay, that's a high number. And then when you break it down by political affiliation, 68% of Republicans believe in demons, no surprise there. 55% of independents believe in demons, not much better. Are you ready for this one? Still, even 49% of Democrats believe in demons. Half of Democrats believe in demons. And the number that's cited all the time from people who are happy that we're becoming more secular, including myself, is the recent poll, it was either Pew or Gallup, but it was 20% uh, of the American people were described as nuns, which means N-O-N-E-S, not N-U-N-S, which means we have no religious affiliation. But as they point out in this article on Alternate, 85% of the people who describe themselves as nuns uh, have some sort of a spiritual or supernatural belief. And that's depressing, man. That's depressing because that means we're not moving as quickly in that direction as I thought we were, we were. And by the way, I still think we are, just not as quickly as we should be. So uh, it's, I guess, a, a little bit of a wrench in our, uh, our plan here uh, of getting the United States to be more secular and more rational and more empirical. But I mean, Look, I guess we really shouldn't be all that surprised because listen to these numbers. I don't know how I ever forgot about these. 61% of Americans believe the account of creation in the Bible is literally true. They believe the book of Genesis is literally true. Adam and Eve, true. 61%, 61%. That's incredible, man. Only 15% believe in evolution as it actually happened. And what I mean by that is actual evolution, like no hand of God saying, ooh, let me put a rib here or whatever. Like at just regular evolution. Only 15% believe in it the way it actually happened. 32% believe in evolution, but God guided. And 46%, uh, so the largest number, the largest number was people who just believe God created humans in our current form. Yeah, you know what? Ironically, what this story has done, I think a lot of people might read this, uh, you know, secular people like us might read this and go, fuck, I feel like alone now and I'm kind of upset and like, this is bad news. And it is bad news, don't get me wrong, it is certainly bad news. But here's the thing, I feel emboldened. I do, I feel emboldened. And the reason why is because sometimes when I come out here, I naively think, well, obviously people listen to the show they agree with most of the things I say, or some of them, even if it's just 51%, they think I'm making sense, right? Uh, but now when I read this, I think, no, that's not true, especially on the issue of religion or, or, or you know, metaphysical beliefs. So you know what this is going to make me do? I'm going to be even more aggressive now. I'm going to be even more aggressive, I'm going to be even more unapologetic, and I'm going to talk about these issues more, and I will probably be even more condescending. Because here's the thing, man. As Thomas Jefferson said, that great quote, I'm going to paraphrase here, but things that are ridiculous deserve only ridicule.